Hey guys, Tim here with Safari Surf Adventures and pro surfer, super cool cat, Pete Mendia, here to help us break down some surfboards that he uses uh, in a variety of different waves. The differences between these boards, there's a lot of differences and we want to break down those uh, for you so that you'll be able to, you know, the time comes you guys need to go into a surf shop and, and buy a board, you'll have some, some basic knowledge. And I would grab this board and this board is a tad narrower with a brown tail. Round tails are made to hold in more than like say the last board I did a square tail. And uh, let it's... me show that real quick. The difference between those two tails. You can see, look at the, the volume here between this board and this one. This board, like we said, right? It's a skateboard, yep. pretty much. This one for bigger waves is gonna hold in. It's not gonna slide around, right? Yep. Yeah. So you'll always see all these kinds of funky tails. I've seen, they call them bat tails. I've seen diamond tails, swallow tails, double swallows. I mean, what? There's a bazillion different types of tails. Does it mean anything? I mean, does it really change your surfing? I'd say the actual tail doesn't do that much. A little bit before it, like here, this, the actual end of the tail I don't know how much it, it actually does, but from here, I think does a lot. Wouldn't Why is you say? That? I would say... With all the water the, rushing yeah. off the back? Like this board is so wide. Mm -hmm. So this, it's a wide base. So you're generally, it's gonna be faster. It's gonna be looser. Mm -hmm. There's more water. There's more surface. Therefore, there's more water on it, yep. which makes it skatey. Yeah. Right? Exactly. So where, whereas something like this... Where this board is also small, it's small but it has a narrower tail. This is called a moon tail. And uh, it's just some crazy looking, <laughs> crazy looking bit. Looks cool, but this is a, a definitely narrower tail, but has a super wide front and, and wide center. So you're getting all your paddle power here, you know, and here. But when you're up on a wave, it's keeping it stiffer because this tail is narrower. So do you think in, with, with respect to when you're doing, say, a cutback, or you're going rail to rail with the water releasing out the tail like this, whereas you have tail on a squash tail like that, does it give it more pivot? Is there more turn, do you feel? I or? think just because the narrowness, it'll hold in. Mm. It, won't be, it won't be as skatey. I okay. mean, my personal preference, I love a round tail and yeah. I love swallow tails, but this is, it looks, it's pretty much doing the same thing as a swallow tail. Right, it's very similar. It's yeah. just a, a different look. So, so from there, say to one of your high performance boards, like this is a pretty popular, you would say like a round pin, right? So here we have a round pin. I'd say this is what everyone's go-to board is today, this day and age. Especially when, in bigger, a little bit bigger surf, right? When you're riding a wave that's generally head high to a little overhead. Everyone seems to go to a pin tail and a, or a round tail. And this, it makes it good in those conditions because the board's narrower. So here, so you're actually going slower, but the wave is going so fast, you need to have control. And this is yeah, what allows sense. you to have control. Makes sense. On those waves. And so that's why you see with those huge, big wave guns that you guys surf at Waimea and Puerto Escondido, they actually don't have round pins, they have an actual pin, yeah. whereas it comes all the way down to a point. And that does what? Exactly. That'll make the board even stiffer. Stiffer. Yeah. And you have more control in, uh, in the larger surf. But the kind of the same concept with those longer boards is they're harder to turn, right? Because, there's, because they're tucked in, like you said, and, and, and pintail and stiff, they're harder to turn. Yeah. But in big waves like that, you don't want something that's super skatey. You want something solid, right? Yeah. In the bigger waves, you're not doing turns. Right. You're basically <laughs> angling and trying to set yourself up for a big barrel. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it depends what kind of big wave you're surfing. If you're surfing YMAA, you're, it's basically a big drop and mm -hmm. you're trying to just get to the shoulder. Or if you're surfing someplace like Chopu or Pipeline, you're, you're just trying to angle and, and get in the tube, which is the best feeling in the world. Yes, indeed. <laughs> awesome. Typically, and I'm not sure how, Luke, you want to get this, but with boards here, I really want the, the, the people to understand when, you, when I'm feeling a board in the shop and I'm looking to buy a new board, first thing I do is like, I'm making love. I shouldn't even say that, but I do. I, I feel the board and I feel the rails. On the top of the board here, I've got relatively soft. There's not much of a bite. But as you get down to right a little bit past the center point, 
you start to feel a bite in these rails. Can you tell me what, you know, why is that? What is this super hard edge for?